The en and an, en an endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile into a minivan and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza places we went to back in the day. Bruh, remember how we used to fold whole pies in half and then put the taco fillings inside? Ah, pizzacos. I couldn't never forget. How did we survive college? Bruh, our bodies were younger back then. More elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside us. The good old days. The kids run around, playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Oh. Hey, give me a give me a piece of that. No, absolutely not. Ha, I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Oh god. Thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. What a dad joke. Hmm. A dad. A different mom walks up to walks up to walks up to us. Talking to Craig as if we weren't there. Craig! Thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day how great you are. Oh, oh bruh, I'm happy here. Uh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps to have kids of my own. I love the disappointed look on her face after that dad joke. It has been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Nan and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Know. Bruh, thank you so much, dude. Craig holds a fist, holds fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. Should I throw him a bone here? Um. Uh oh, which one should I do? Create a diversion, tag team with Amanda, or smoke screen? What does smoke screen mean? I'm an, I'm an old man, I don't know what smoke screen means. I don't know what smoke screen means. Created diversion seems like it would work on a mom. Tag team with Amanda. I don't know what that means. Are we like create a diversion? I don't know, which one should I do? I don't know which one to do. WNT says tag team with Amanda. All right, we're tag teaming. Fist bump, adventure time. I give Amanda another knowing look. And she hints back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts up a hand to her stomach and looks at me with oh. dog eyes. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie. You're not gonna projectile vomit everywhere, are you? Yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. <laughs> Back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning and I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con's going sideways. Should have known that a mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. <laughs> Martha's thirsty and serving deep on that dumb bitch. Oh. Oh, well, I guess I went away and I'm fine now. Nothing's wrong. She turns her back. Me to talk to Craig. So, I'm taking Hazel and Briar, Briar tonight for a hmm. sleepover. Yep, they're, bruh, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could never use, I could always use the help after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady's really going Bro. for the gold. Ha! <laughs> bruh, it'd actually be nice to have the night to myself and River, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing a pizza under the coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany! Not another arcade machine! I swear if we have to buy it! 
Martha storms off to her kid. She seems nice. Bruh, yeah. The team is one big weird family. It takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew, finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! Oh. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record in DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance map. Please help. I don't know. Uh, bruh, girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. I don't know. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig's one out. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. He definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Huh. There's worse places in an arcade to be left on your own devices. You're right. Wanna drop some coin on pinball? You know it. Man and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot when we get to work. No oh, rusty. The pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge a manager to top mine. And immediately she gets a multi-ball. It's like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. <sighs> Don't patronize me. Hey, I'm just trying to play a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans in the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college. <gasps> Please don't lean on my thing. Uh, that's so interesting. Do you know if he's like... Available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I can hmm. say. Seriously, you're gonna make it till. Because it's just like, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Hmm. Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer goes and the so sounds and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. What? You stone harpy. What? Oh. I said, I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Bro. Bro. What's going on? Oh. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> Bro, now's our chance. If we don't get out of here, we're stuck here for the rest of the night. Ringo, Amanda, and say some quick goodbyes to Craig. We head out of the pizza place, finally. Amanda promises she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. <gasps> we're going home uh -huh. with Craig. Oh, we're not going home. We're going to the field with a baby. These women are thirsty, like seriously. Bruh, I hope you don't mind bringing you back. Uh, mind me bringing you back here, bro. I don't know, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. You're burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a soft hmm. up for some catch. This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball at me and the ball and me running after it. But sure. We stand in the middle of an empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. Hmm. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice box in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Hmm? You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull it off. The rare horizontal king Oh. It was a fleet of discipline blow. That, 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 sorry, I've been drinking. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't probably hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. Um. What should we talk about? Ask about coaching softball? Ask about the business? Ask about the kids? I mean, he seems to love his kids, but the softball seems to be something he really enjoys. And ask about the business. I'm not even sure what he does for work. I wonder if that's a valid question. Is that a valid question? Is that a worthwhile question? Is 
What do you think here, WNT? Twarrant? Shonicus? Why should we ask Craig? Like, I know he really cares about his kids. He's always got River. And he's even doing, going to, like, he's even doing tea parties for his kids, so that's, like, really cute. But I know nothing about his job, but I don't think it's important to him. Oh, you get the opportunity to ask about all of it, so whatever. Okay. It's about coaching softball. So softball coach, the life you wanted? Or was it the life that was thrust upon you? Hmm. Ha! I'll admit that it was hesitant at first. Brian Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports. But no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to the girls. I'm worried I'll there to be a riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. I don't know. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. That's good business. So you run a business now? Bro! Yeah! We sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly. But we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. Nah, and I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make a killing. Mm -hmm. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my own lawn. Mm. That's a glamorous lifestyle we're catering to, yes. It's about the kids. I can't believe you're a father of three. Oh. Neither can I. You know me, I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Craig's just happy to be asked any question. I know, he just loves the, oh, he loves the attention from his old friend that he's secretly in love with. But I don't want to be a home wrecker either. Why am I wrecking so many homes in this game? Hmm. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But raising kids, when Brian Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I could be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. Oh. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. I could be the only thing that ever happened to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I live. I think when you run into him in the street on the first day, he says he's still not old Smashley, though. Hmm. It's nice out here. Quiet. It must be good to get away from the softball mom's bit, huh? I don't know. Christ. Er, Christ. Bruh, Christ. Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Oh. Bro, actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. I don't know. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oop. I... Oop. Oh. Peace and quiet. That's hot. Hot silence. Hey! My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Nice. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's like, bruh, no time. I don't know. I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger to my girls. Wives. They've already been through so much. I couldn't put them through that. Oh. Buddy, I hear you. Hmm. So, the moms can hit on me all they want, but the girls are my top priority. Doing a great job. Right person will come along eventually. Hit softballs. Don't get hit on by moms. Um, I don't know that I want to do you're doing a great job. I think the right person will come along eventually is like so passe. I think he'll appreciate the sports reference with uh, get hit softballs, don't get hit on mo by moms. I think let's go with the third. A wise man once said that. I'm quoting myself. Copyright. <laughs> Bruh, thanks, dude. While I'm distracted, I miss a softball and it hits me right on the head. Wow, that hurts. And it was right all along. Mm -hmm. Bruh, sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. I... It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Oop! 
Bro. <laughs> you would be so lucky. I mean, ooh, should we flirt hard with Craig? I want to say I mean. I feel like I've earned it at this point. Waiting all day to hang out with you. Oh, well. Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Huh? Walk it off, champ. Uh, bruh, walk it off, champ. The lights on and the softball feels really hot, or is it just me? I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Mm. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, huh? Mm. Hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life kind of take... Kind of gets in the way, huh? I start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party when we went to... When... The, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? Hey. Bruh, how could I forget? You got you and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh, oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at a party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk to them for 30 minutes. He told them we were interested in joining the academy. Bro. And then they started giving me pointers on the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. Hmm. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much as we can manage with a baby between us. Hmm. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang out soon, yeah? I like that. Oh my god, am I in love with Craig? Ah! Robert just wants to me. I haven't even talked to Brian because he's such a competitive Joseph's Joseph, I can't home wreck Joseph. Oh my god, yes, you're gay. Brian is a dude. Oh my god. And then and then I love Matt. I Love Matt. I think Matt is my OTP. You guys, I think if I have to pick a dream daddy right now, it's Matt. I like, like, Craig, Craig hit me right here in the feels. But I think I love Matt. As much as I love Robert and wish that he would not be so awful to me. Craig, all that was cute with Craig. I mean, Craig is like classically hot, but Matt is 100% the best dream daddy in my honest opinion. Why is everything so complicated? I know, WNT. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda's hunt Amanda hunched over a collage, glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil. <laughs> Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Do the sharps lip sync or do the sharks hunters lip sync? Mm -hmm. Yes. Look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Huh. Thanks. I'm just about done. Before, it's still a lot of dogs in one corner of the giant pile of cash. In the other, it's Amanda. Is that me? Mm. Yup, the whole thing about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Mm. Oh, Dad. You did this with your good art. She pats me on the back. Hmm. Hey, how was your hanging out with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Hmm? Yeah, dude. That softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh yeah? How about tomorrow when we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Mm -hmm. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. 
All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hey. Oh my God. Be complete. Handy, number one dad, run, marinara, coach, pitbull. Oh my God. Oh, I got 90 million sure. dad points and I got an S. <gasps> Am I OTP with, Ma uh, with, with Craig? Am I just totally confused and it's not actually mad, even though I want it to be Robert, but Robert's absolutely awful to me? What is life? I'm so confused. Welcome. You've got that. Oh my god. Okay, let's go through. Oh my god. <gasps> Matt, message me. Hey, Brian. What are you? What are your feelings about poker? Beyond hardly knowing her. Poker? I hardly know her. <laughs> there it is. Well, good talk. Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm contractually obliged. No, no, I get that. Anyway, we've been playing weekly poker games and I figured you sh I should send you an invite. Sounds great. I love losing money. Oh my god. Brian, listen. This is you from the past. Was oh, this about ice cream? Should we go get ice cream? Oh my god. He sounds like Brian troubles for tomorrow. Okay. Let's go over our dream daddy situation right now. That was a really good date with Craig because I can see how much heart and love he has in the things that he does. And we still got to connect and then he kissed me on my little boo-boo on my forehead and that was super cute. Matt, I've already gone on two dates with and I like, I'm really feeling Matt. I'm really feeling Matt. I think he's like totally game for shit and I can feel some of that social anxiety and I get it. I can be such an empath with it and I, I feel it. I haven't even bothered with Brian. I haven't. Since he since he made me Pokemon battle about our daughters, I'm just a little too like, you know what, Buzz Lightyear, I can't do it. Robert. Robert. Oh, Robert. He's he's got more depth than I originally thought when I him and I think that's what's making it worse because you know I him for fun and for some reason he's a hypocrite and you know can't respect me because we so that's just not cool and not fair and he clearly has a thing for Craig and he really made it very painfully clear that I'm not invited to dinner all the time but Craig is, which is like, Craig's a gem, clearly, so I'm like, sure, go for it, but it's still, it's not cute, it's not fun, it's not fun. It's... Damien, I haven't really gone out with. Damien, I just went and delivered a package, and he gave me this beautiful butterfly thing. Um, Hugo just doesn't get my humor. I like Hugo. I like Hugo, but he just doesn't get my humor. And with Joseph, I just like... With Joseph, I'm just like, I'm not gonna home wreck. I can't, I can't, there's so much, I, you know, I've already been with like messy men, IRL, and like complicated backstories, and it's just like, I can handle your complicated backstory, but have you gotten through your own complicated backstory? Because it's not mine to fully deal with. That's for you to deal with and me just to accept. You know what I mean? I accept your truth and your reality, whatever it is, but like you need to deal, like you need to deal with that because it's not, you know, it's almost like it's not my job to hold your hand through your complicated backstory. It's not my job. It's absolutely not my job. And yeah, I'm not here to be the band-aid of your backstory or anything. So it's like, no, you gotta, you gotta, with Joseph, I'm very much like, you gotta deal with that on your own. Go for it with Damien if you want to. I think we've hit three hours and I'm starting to feel the rasp in my dad voice. So I think it's gonna, I think that might be a day for the night. I'm really curious as to what you're supposed to do with Joseph. Is this game really going to make you do all that? I'm not sure get to her, but I'm like, he has twins and a kid and he's a youth minister and, and clearly um, um, a Mary is, his wife or at least partner and she's going through something. I wish I could hang out with Mary just cause like, 
you know, Mary's clearly feeling something. Something's going on, and either Joseph's not cognizant of it, or for her it is, or excuse me, yeah, Joseph's not cognizant of it, or Joseph is the problem and Mary doesn't know how to deal with it. So I wish I could hang out with Mary. I wish there was, um, a mom book or something so I could talk to Mary. So right now I, I feel dumb, and it's very true to my life that I'm still pining for Robert. Even though Robert is clearly me wearing rose-colored glasses and just seeing red flags as flags, and I should know more than that. But I know better than that. Craig, Craig, Craig has thrown me a curveball. Um, Seanicus, does me running with Craig in that running minigame count as a date? I don't remember getting a date score for that. I mean, if you go on dates with him, Robert's actually really cool. Well, I've tried, but he leaves me on red, and I've already gone on two dates. Technically, because he left me on red and I got a date score, and then we crashed that Robert dinner with Craig. I mean, if you don't see them, I know, and that's what's so <laughs> stupid is because I slept with him because he's the one that that the proposition did. I'm just like not worthy of respect, and you know what? I just, on principle, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Because I feel like you can still sleep with someone, but then still respect them as a person. And if you're not mature enough to do that, I, you know, it's just not going to end well. And so, like, as much as the game may be telling me that Robert has canceled me, I've canceled Robert. Yeah, but many games you do for messages don't count as dates. Oh, for sure. I made that same call with my first playthrough, and I was like, fuck Robert, all my homies hate Robert. Yeah, it's just like, you know, I guess that's how true to life this game is, because, you know, there are people like that. But, you know, I just like, in my long years of being 34 years old, or 34, oh god, I'm already advanced aging myself. I'm only 33, but or 33 since, you know, fooling around with boys at the age of 16. Like, I've learned a thing or two, and I'd like to think that I learned that I know which men aren't good for me in my relatively young age. Um, and Robert is just, you know, Robert is gonna be that point that I feel is always gonna hurt me if I keep doing it, you know? And so, I think tomorrow, I mean, I think next stream, I think next stream, let me think about it right now. I think next stream, we don't talk to Robert at all. We just have to go to bed tonight and we're done with Robert. I think we should go out with Joseph once, just to be friendly. I think we can go out with Damien once, to be friendly. I think I want to go out with Hugo to really solidify our friendship, because while I think we have a humor disconnection, I think Joseph or Hugo is a really fine guy. <sighs> I think I just, like, I'm just not interested in Brian and the competitive nature of Brian. There are two daddies sendings are not fulfilling, which is fair because life is like, life be like that. But yeah, I say go on at least one date with all the daddies that interest you. I, I think I want to go on a date with all of them as a friend, so I think next stream, fuck Robert, like, not literally him, because we already did that twice. Go out with Joseph once, go out with Hugo a second time. Go out with Hugh, uh, Damien once. I'm just not gonna bother with Brian. Um, we'll go out with Craig one more time, and then unless one of those dates really changed my mind, I think Matt is my OTP. I think Matt. Matt is everything I look for in a person. Like he's equally vulnerable, but he's also like there are bound boundaries that he's clearly set that I need to learn to respect. That, you know, eventually he could open up to me about, but his prior life is not my business until he makes it my business, or he allows me to know his business, and I think that's thoroughly respectful. I think he's been really playful. I think the fact that he bought me that shirt at that concert, it's really thoughtful, and he was really, like, he was paying attention to me, and I think that's, I think that's really, really cute and really endearing, and you know, th those are the things I do for people. Like, I remember being in Japan, and we were at, um... God, I f suddenly don't remember what it was called. This area of Japan is beautiful, and it's this huge market. 
like a bunch of stands that lead up to this gorgeous huge shrine and I saw this bag that had a Boston Terrier on it and I was like oh that'd be perfect for Steve and so I just quietly went and bought it for him because I do that and you know I know I know the feelings I'm trying to give to someone when I do these little like tiny gifts it's just like I'm thinking about you and it I hope that it doesn't matter what I got you, but I hope what I got you encapsulates the feeling that I have when I bought it for you. And, um, you know, I think that meant a lot to me. I'm guessing your love language is acts of service then? You know, I've had this battle into trying to, like, really figure out what my love language is because I feel my love language is so, like, multiple things. Like, I think mine mine is acts of service slash yeah acts of service you know I feel like I'll do things thinking of you and and we don't have to like talk about it like I don't have to like spell it out for you like I did something thinking of you I think you're right I think you know, is there a difference between the love language that you give and the love language that you take? Because I feel like, I think my love language that I like receiving is touch. Um, because I feel like touch is very electric and I feel like touch, touch tells you something that words can't. There a hundred percent is, okay. Because I feel like touch tells you something that words can't. Because you could say anything to someone and convince them of anything. But see, I love quality time too, you know? I love qual- But with quality time, I feel like thought is in it, and so, like, that's where, like, the lines blur on my love language. But, um, if I go out of my way, and even if I don't go out of my way, if I'm doing something for you, that's- That is me showing love and care. But I don't know, I feel like this, I think my love language is still something I'm kind of figuring out. 